Hello, everybody. Welcome to the BMHL on FTN. This is FSN Now, your pre- Game show, what? I literally just had the camera set up. Oh, it's so they can wait to open the gates. It's annoying. We were at the um, Greensboro Coliseum Complex, and you guessed it, Charlotte. I mean, of course, Greensboro, of course, yeah. Greensboro, North Carolina. This game will be an interesting one. It's Dublin. Dublin Shamrocks going to be facing the um, Halifax Flames. Bound to be an interesting one, but we have two games early. We, ha we have covered a... Two games today. Today, here are the final scores. Um... Eight nothing. Eight nothing. Uh, Wheeling will defeat the Harbor City Wave. The Roblox, the West Virginia, now the Roblox Lakers um, will will lose after forfeiting the game due to not having enough players. And, uh, Yesterday's uh, school final scores were the Shamrocks won 3-0 three, three against the Thunderbirds. The Ballers defeated the, defeated the Manatees 7-1. And the Bobcats won 3-0 against the Spartans in a forfeit. On the 15th, The Admiral rolls one in overtime. Um, the Astros defeated the Mad Cows six to five. Flames defeated the Winter Hawks four three. And we're and the um, Shamrocks were able to get a three nothing win. And the Astros were defe defeated. The defeated Washington Senators 8-4. So um that's um those are the latest scores. Those yeah, those are your latest scores right now. So let's take a look at a uh, play from Big one timer. Oh. 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 Oh.
let's try that again here um Having difficulties loading uh, that clip for some. We're having difficulties loading that clip. Okay, I was trying to get Ultimate Apache in there, but if you want to commentate, join. Feel free to join us. So. What arena? What? What arena? What? What arena? Uh, Greensboro. Um, wait, who's playing? What? Who's playing? Um, Dublin and the Flames. Oh, I'd love to do that. Alright, we'll do it. The game started or no? Mm, no, it starts at nine. Uh, Hold on, we're gonna try to get Olin Apache in here too. Olin Harold. Exciting game pump. I wanted to, for the viewers at home, I wanted, I wanted to show you guys. Um, This play. Again, from earlier. It was just. No, are we, are we streaming or? Oh, we are. Oh, I did not. Oh, I did not even. Oh, sorry. It's okay. okay. <laughs> Alright, well. Yo, can they hear me or? I'm pretty sure I can, I guess, so. If we... Currently 18 shots of two for wheeling. Ace them from the left, from the right side, and the Harbor City zone. Passes up to Ginselbin on the point. Shot is scores! An amazing yeah. slap shot right over the glove. What a goal there. That was an amazing... I forgot. Currently, um, 18 shots. I'm actually going to be at Dublin's bench. Actually. From the left, from the right side. Crap. We, um, apologies for that. Anyways, an amazing play, so, um... Because so, you're going to be on Dublin's bench, um... Suggestion, go in the middle part.
Oh. Hello? Hey Jake, am I con? Okay, am I, uh... so... Soar, you're gonna be inside the glass? Yeah, for some reason the gates are closed right now. For some of the fans. Yep. Alright. So, uh, reporting back. Uh, I'm actually on the Dublin bench here. So, I'll give y'all updates on ice level and see what happens. Do I like calling? You want to do main or you want to do call it? I'm fine with either. Okay, so main commentator tonight will be Colin. Alright, I'll be color then. Or you wanna be color? I'm the I think commentator. I'm commentator. I think I'm the so let's get straight into things here. Yeah, right, uh, straight, right, 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 right to things. We have about approximately nine minutes until puck drop, obviously. Uh, Shamrock's looking a lot more firepower, and honestly, I have my money on the Shamrocks tonight. What about you two? I, yeah, I have yeah, my I'm, money on them, too. Yeah, that's the same for me. Fair enough, you know, you got the likes of Star Player and the Elite, I believe. Wait. You saw their performance in round one, and that was not that good. I think it's going to be a blowout win for the Shamrocks. Yeah. Um, either way, we have yeah, we've had a three we have had three different games tonight here on FTN. Yeah, you know, obviously, what is this? Is this the last one for the night? Yeah. Okay. So this will be the closing broadcast of the night. So sit back, folks, and enjoy the commentating from our great main commentator, Colin Harold. But yeah, um, we will be. Obviously. So who do you think will be one of the star players tonight? I think it's obviously going to be going to be James Bando. You've seen his performance. Recently, and you're probably going to be able to see it now. His performance has been really good throughout this whole qualification tournament, and I hope he can really act that up. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Well, I didn't. Oh. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm in the arena now. Oh, nice. I'm hurt. So, right, back to rosters here. Um, oh, yeah. It's kind of ironic here. 
It's actually ironic that head guy is not playing tonight. Kind of ironic here. That is pretty ironic. <laughs> but moving on, uh, right back to the rosters here. So uh, I believe Kian is the elite for the Dublin Shamrocks. Let me take a look here. Uh, I think he is. Let me just take a look. See if he is. Or... I don't know. Really see. I believe he is. Let me see. Oh, where's the elite list? Didn't Ben drop it? Huh? But Kian was on the. They just connected all of it. Hakeem was only a beat most. What the? Okay, so okay. So I thought Keen was on the elite list. Apparently, I was wrong. Maybe it was on the one before it. I really don't know. Weird. Uh. Yeah, Ken's not what I thought he was. Uh, oh, no, this isn't updated. All right, whatever. Uh, anyway, but back to the rosters. Um, Obviously, you got big players such as... <clears throat> uh, Ken. Obviously, uh, goaltender of the year last year, Crosby. A little off his game, which is pretty good. And the SA is pretty good. James Bando did... Pretty good in the last two games, actually. Though we're about to do intros, so yeah. Uh, Colin, I'm just going to kick it back to you once we start opening face uh, So, Crosby's playing in net tonight. Because I was expecting yeah. James to play. Yeah, obviously, the James has been looking more fresh than Crosby lately. Anyways, it's time for some hockey, Will. Be back in a moment. This has been your pre game show. to call him the F-Shop Merchant. Anyway. Welcome obviously, to tonight's broadcast. Let's call him uh, out to go AFK for a moment um, during, we were in, during the intro. Oh, looks like we have an issue here. No benches. <laughs> Can I, well, that was an issue earlier. Ban just told them to cry about it. It Everything else was working. Oh, uh, I'll just stand on the bench. Yeah, you can always right, right. look. Look, 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 uh, look at Dublin here. They're standing. Yeah, I think you stand on the bench. Okay, just before puck drop, I am back. We have on. Um, yeah. I'm um, Great Jacob. So. Three, um, color com providing color commentary. Um, I'm in the booth here with, uh, Colin. Colin and inside the glass is sore. Let's get things started. Yeah, yeah. Recording from the Dublin bench. All right, so the goalies tonight are in net for both teams. In net for the Shamrocks, Crosby. And in net for the... What? 
for the flames is I I C X R E taking the first face off is horse guy O seven and Markinator underscore lol. We love Tonight should be an amazing game, and let's see how this goes. <sighs> oh. All right, the puck is dropped. It is won by the Flames. Flames coming up the left side is Mark Manero Low. It is all oh, the Shamrocks defense showing showing up tonight. All right, just too clean gets the puck and he is on a break. He is kind of on a breakaway. It looked like for a second, but tough Benji ended up being right in front of. The Flames goalie. Horse guy has the puck on the right side. He's he's at the hash marks of the left circle. He goes, he centers it, tries to shoot backhand, and he misses. Here comes Just Too Clean. He takes a shot towards the net, and he misses to the left side. Just Too Clean takes another shot, and it just goes above the net. Here comes Horse Guy up the right side. With defense from the Flames really showing up. So here comes a Saisayan. Taking the puck, cutting right, and it is a save by I, I, I. Here comes piano thrower, piano thrower, looking to clear the puck, but it is four check by Saisayan, and it is finally cleared after a good battle. Here comes Nathanian, trying to f shot the puck, but it is cleared into the flame zone. Here comes Andy up the left side, going to the center, and it is once again saved by IICX3. A sign trying to have started in and he scores already a goal by the Shamrocks in the with eight minutes and 32 seconds left in the first period. How's it looking down there on the ice? Uh, looking down here at the ice, you know, obviously, Shamrocks players getting pretty happy, getting pretty confident uh, about the first goal of the night. For the Shamrocks, obviously, that 1-0 lead fairly early in the first period. It's giving them a confidence boost, obviously. Pretty good goal there, I'd say. Shamrocks are looking to extend that lead. Uh, uh, and and pairs on the Flames bench, you know, they they might be going over some plays, you know, who never knows. But back to you, Colin. Yeah, I just got... Really nice that goal. goal must be the That goal must Cyan, be the Flames. right on the, the front flames. door. F shots it in. Good play. They were they were applying a lot of pressure early on, on, and they were able to score here and take the lead. So back to you. Yeah. Once again, I I was saying this goal must be deflating for the Flames already. So. Taking the center ice face off after that goal is Markinator underscore Lowell and Sai Cyan. The thing is, I think the issue is there aren't they aren't getting enough zone time already. It feels like all of the all of the all of the um, plays so far has been they've only been playing defense so far. They need to get on the attack. Yes, I do. Yes, they do. That yeah, is honestly get, a crucial thing. They need thing. to get more aggressive. A good defense is good until you don't have a good offense to back that up. All right, Markinator underscore Lowell and Sisayan taking that face off. And the puck is dropped, and it is won by Shamrocks by Sasayan. Takes it up the left side, and it is cleared into their zone. Wayne Train and Methania try to clear it, but it is taken by Andy. And he's trying to fight around the Flames players, and he fails to do so. Sasayan tries to pick back up the pieces, and he clears it into the Flames zone. 
Messiah and takes it in the right trap. Trap just walking through the entire Flames team, going to the center. Could he shoot? He does, and it is wide on the right side. Sasayan tries another shot, and it hits the crossbar. That was a dangerous one there. All right, Sir, Sir Deadless tries to shoot, and he hits the side of the net. He goes back to him, tried to shoot again. That did not work out. Tough Benji is... And up the center, Sir Don Deadless tries to shoot, and it is whiffed. Here comes the sign to the right. But then it is taken by Tough Benji. CRX, CX Re tries to cover it, but there is a play stoppage. Up scoreboard, I think. So what appears to what what has happened there? Oh, well, I, I think it's scoreboard. That's why. I have no idea. I, or Drake goes up or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, now uh, I'm just gonna steal a little NHL broadcasting here. James Bando. Uh, no, I'm joking. Or Sky Seven. And oh, uh, who's a good player on the line? Masano. Masano with this F shot zone ability. F <laughs> shot Masano with F shot zone ability. Will he able to get done for his team to score a goal? And horse guy 07. The dangle zone ability. Obviously getting past the run of the defenders here tonight. Let's see if he can let's see which one can capitalize for the team. Back to you, Colin. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed there the Shamrocks had a, too many men at the start of the face off, but one person quickly got off. Here comes Maximus in the center. He tries to get it into the zone, and he fails to do so. Oh, and it is cleared by the flames here because Methania trying to dangle around Horse Guy 07, but Horse Guy 07 does block that and absolutely blows him up. Flames fighting to get, try to get his own entry. The good Shamrock defense is clearly blocking that, and it is cleared by Maximus. Waternet with no XP tries to get past Grand Slammer to clear it, but that is unsuccessful. Markinator underscore Lowell tries to tries to clear it, but he accidentally shoots it on his own goalie. Now Wayne Train's got the buck. He's trying to clear it. Who knows? But Horse Guy 07 gets four checks that puck very hard. And he has options towards the center. Let's see if he uses those. He does not. He tries to get a goal there up close, but it is covered by IICX3. How is it looking on the ice? On the ice, you know, obviously no penalty so far. Uh, still a pretty close game, obviously. Dublin has been dominating in the offensive zone. Obviously, the Flames forced to shift back to defense. However... Dublin's trying to capitalize, obviously, uh, I correct. He's been doing his job in that, obviously letting anyone go off the F-shot, off the one-timer. But, uh, you know, obviously, Dublin's just trying to get creative, trying to extend their lead to 2-0. While the Flames are looking to shift onto their offensive game, been fairly weak uh, lately. Obviously losing a majority of their games, winning one in the first round, saving them here. But anyways, back to you, Colin. We're about to take the face off. I would also like to come back to you for a second. How is the Flames reacting to this pressure put on by the Shamrocks? Uh, from the ice, how how is the Flames' reaction to I think pressure I noticed put on something by on the drop. Game? That appeared to be way closer to the Shamrock there. Yeah, it did. All right, here comes Maximus. Is top left, top right side of the Flames zone. And Maximus is trying to fight through the heavy Flames defense. And he gets past all, the, all three of them. He takes a back in, and it is wide. That was it. That was almost a goal by Maximus. Now here comes... Wayne Train and Waternet both together. Wayne Train tries to clear it, but it is denied by 
uh, Andy, and he then somehow the puck is fling to the other side. Now, Jay, now Crosby clears it to way to Andy, and it is then cleared by the Flames. Crosby tries once again to clear it, but it is taken by Sir Grizzlies, or attempted to be taken, but Crosby ends up clearing it anyway. It goes to Waternet. Waternet once again clears it into the Shamrock Zone. This is turning into a game of ping pong real quickly now. Yes, it is. Here comes the Cyan trying to clear it out of there. Ooh, a chance here. Nice stop. Nice defensive play there. And he takes a Sasai and takes a slap shot from the top of the left side. And that Whoa! is close. Wait! The rebound! Sir Grizzlies gets it on the rebound. I was not expecting that play to turn into anything, but it does. If we could have a replay real quick. And, uh, unless it's yeah. already going on. Look Sorry, at, I was if you look at that slap shot, it's not an impressive slap shot, but the rebound generated after is what really creates the the rebound. Is what really creates the goal there. The Sorry, rebound really good. creates the goal there. It's one of the best aspects of that goal. I'd say it's tough to stop those types of things. How's it looking on the ice for the flames so far? Has their confidence level dropped any, Soar? Uh, maybe, you know. The Flames, obviously, trying to bounce back. I think it's, it's go-go, right? Yeah, 2-0. Sorry, I was looking at the end. I can't really see what's going on. But, obviously, the Flames have a bit of an upset. Uh, being two down 2-0. Two mm, about almost half, half into the period. Roughly about almost four minutes left. But, yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. Face what just happened. Colin, back to you. All right, so it is tied up on the faceoff. The Flames get the puck, I think. But it goes backwards because the Flames have no capable zone entry. And it is called offsides. Force guy 07 and Markinator underscore Lowell taking the faceoff on that offside on the left side of the Flames side of the neutral zone. Here comes Horse Guy. Horse Guy 07 wins the battle, but he doesn't win the war. Markinator underscore Lold clears it onto the Shamrock side. Here comes Mathana trying to shoot it to Crosby, but he does but he does not get that F shot off. He tries to get a rebound off of another Shamrock's player, but he but that fails. And then it is now cleared by the Shamrock somehow. Oh, here comes Grand Slammer. Coming in hot, and he does not get that off. Here comes Grand Slammer once again trying to get to the center, but he is blocked by the Flames' defense. Now here comes Josie tried to F-shot, but the Flames' defense once again prevailing on that one. Now here comes Crosby trying to catch it out of the trap zone, and he whiffs on the first one, but he succeeds on the second try. Out is in the flame zone with Horse Guy 07 and Grand Slam Arrow 01 supporting the puck. Here comes Horse Guy 07 trying to score a goal here. He could center it. But no, Horse Guy 07 takes it in by himself and it is saved. Good cover. That is a good cover. Falling apart in front of you. He, and you need, they needed to regroup. Just cover it up. Yeah. Maximus wins a face-off and tries to get it into the net with the face-off position, but that is denied. He, he tries to take it up the center, but that is does not work for him here comes andy gets the puck get it, and he shoots it and did it off the post here comes andy again the left oh. side. i'm circling it and he shoots it and it is close here come maximus trying to put it up the center to try to shoot it into the net he does get it up into the center he shots shoots it once but it is blocked by a stick he shoots it twice and he misses 
Now the puck is on the right side with Andy on it. On it. He tries to get, go up the center of the Flames offensive zone of the of the Flames yeah. zone. And he tries to shoot it, misses. Now he's coming out of the zone, and it is an amazing save by CX3. And he tries to re get that rebound, but it is finally covered. Good try by James Bando trying to go for the F shot. Yeah, that was a really good play. So how is his, that regroup worked so far? Has it worked well for the Flames, or has it not worked much? Probably doesn't look much, honestly. I mean, obviously, practice is looking a lot more fresh. The last two goals, obviously, you know, the Flames are still shifting back to defense. And look at their bench compared to Dublin's. That's obviously another factor. So I don't know if the Flames are going to be able to capitalize. Their best shot is probably a half-icer. But obviously Crosby's more alert than that. But we'll see. Oh, Crosby's just... No, all right. Anyway. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we do know their strategy of stacking the bench so that they have plenty of stam to go off of. Is that working? Maybe. I mean, it's definitely an advantage. So, we'll see. I mean, the numbers game has to work for Dublin so far. Anyway, a face-off already happened. Back to you, Colin. Yeah, I don't care. You don't care. Nothing okay. much is interesting in this game right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm just not really an entertaining one. Yeah, I was thinking we were going to see some good hockey, but it looks like it's more one-sided to Dublin. You know, yeah, obviously Dublin has more paired variety of players. Like Horse Guy, Keenan, Star Grizzly, stuff like that. But uh, right. I think we're about to wrap up the first period in about a minute. Yes, we are. Now, here, back to the action. In the neutral zone, Horse Guy 07 and takes the puck, but is... Wayne Train is trying to defend against it, but that it fails. Horse Guy loses the puck. Grand Slammer picks it up for him. Grand Slammer shoots and an amazing save by CX3. Horse Guy 07 retrieves the puck, tries to, tries to take it himself. He shoots in a crossbar. I thought that was going to be a goal there, but that did not really work out, I don't think. All right, so here comes Grand Slimmer, I think, shot that. That happens to be a rebound, but nobody picks that up. Grand Slimmer had it towards the center again. Oh, my gosh! Good and save. an amazing save. Guy, I correct. Obviously, a former uh, teammate of mine. Saving. Let's take a look at that save on the replay here. That was a pretty good save, I'd say. Especially against a tier one team, and his team is outnumbered. Hmm, the Flames. Flames. Their goaltender is busy tonight, obviously. How many shots? Yeah. Maybe the but, performance of that goaltender is what is keeping the fuel on the fire for them. Maybe. I uh, cracks only letting in two goals within uh, how many shots? Obviously, second chances and not easy to save. Don't forget the one-timers. Those always work. Rebounds, everything. Yeah, two goals and 23 shots. That is just insane. Yeah, a pretty good... Oh, GK chains. Are we going to see James Bando? Yes, are we going to see him? We're going to see the legend James Bando himself. Uh, Crosby's going on fire. I'm hoping it's James Bando. Love seeing that guy. Great, great player. Oh, there's so much. Right, anyway. Ah, uh, Crosby. I'm going back in that. Okay. Should be a dog warn, but obviously. Greensboro is broken. Sasayan claims.
Now, I love how uh, they are. So, who's in net now? Uh, I... Crosby, he's still back. Okay, Crosby's back in net. Yeah, Crosby's back. Yeah, you know, I I agree with Key, and obviously, uh, I'm not really a fan of the not really a fan of the Canes after what happened in the playoffs. Anyway, James. That... Oh, oh, no, 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 I'm not supposed to be commentating. My bad. Oh yeah, I, I yeah, I don't really mind. But hey, that is the end of the first period. It Dublin two. Flames zero. Twenty three shots for Dublin and zero f shots for the Flames. This is an absolute burnout by the Dublin Shamrocks. The Dublin Shamrock. I would say in the later half of the portion of the period, the uh, Flames got better on defense. Oh. oh! Oh, we just had an. Is... Oh, oh boy. Oh. Ah. Uh... It appears we have. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna say it because you take me down for racism, even though I'm Arabic. So anyway, um, we just had a bomb go off. <laughs> Before you racist people say anything, I didn't do it. <laughs> anyway, wait. Oh, we have, uh, first we have they destroyed bomb the off. boards. There's a bomb went off, uh, a terrorist attack, maybe, <laughs> down here in, North, in uh, North Carolina. Who did that? We don't know. Oh, don't shit. Know. <laughs> oh, shit, he's got the book back. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. I'm going to try. Um, I think they could use B-Tools. Trying to figure out who blew it up. I did it, guys. Yeah. Oh my god, guys. Bananas. Oh, come on. Did you just get smited? Yeah. Yeah, you. He believed I did it. Yo. What? Who did that, yeah. though? He actually believed I did it. That is racism, right? He there. actually believed that he's racist. That ben is racist. racist. Ben is racist. Okay, calm down. Racist. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to be canceling Banana CP for that. Wow, uh -huh. wow, Banana, wow. You believe I did it, huh? Cause I'm Muslim, huh? So racist. Come on, bro. Delay it. Bananas TV is racist, guys. Oh, guys. Banana is racist. Yes, it seems like that. Banana is racist. Piece of ra possible racism. That was a we that was weird. That was a weird moment. What's uh going on? Oh hey John. Uh, so um there was an explosion. Uh, in the arena. Yeah, there's an explosion, and uh, I'm er on the band I was me. Yeah, I'm Eric. He's racist. Yo, I didn't even do it. That's the funny part. That is actually the funny He's part. Racist. Yo, he's actually racist. Mm -hmm. Yo. Yo. Now we're trying to. Now we're trying to... 
Now everyone's trying to get back in after the um I didn't explosion do there. Oh. No, I you, didn't you're even live. do it. Yeah, we are live right now on Federal Television Network. I thought we were off air. What? Yo, Ben is actually racist. Mm. Ben is racist. It looks like we are in play here. I. No, we are not. We are not Yo, in play. Yo, Ben is actually racist. Okay, as we wait for play to resume, how do you think the second period will turn out? Oh, fuck you, Ozzy. I hate you. No, I don't, I don't hate Ozzy. Yeah, J Jakers, what's your opinion? How do you think the second period is going to turn out? Sorry, excuse me. I don't cursing. think it's going to get any better for the Flames about right now. Excuse me, cursing. Sorry. But yeah, I believe Delay CB is actually racist. For, ex for <clears throat> accusing the Arab of causing the uh, explosion. I think we should cancel. And then a uh, CV for that. Oh, there's uh, always called Twitter. Come on for down to the studio afterwards. We'll have a hashtag. Yep, uh, we'll gonna... be holding a hashtag. Banana CB is over party. Yep. Don't worry, guys. Uh, I have the Twitter taken care of. Anything the Thunder Bay Eagles will be participating in this. Uh, I will have. The Thunder Bay Eagles participate. Obviously, this is racist towards the Arab community. <laughs> anyway. All right, we are back wow. underway. Maximus Vigilante taking the face off against Mark Canader underscore Lowell. We are back on Saddle Television Network. I'm Colin Harrell 2013. With uh, and I'm Connor Boom, uh, seemingly wandering into the chat by accident. <laughs> but I guess we're commentating here. Might as well. <laughs> we're commentating. Yep. All right. So it is the puck is cleared into the Shamrock Zone by the Flames. Hydra Bills tried to. Tries to clear it out of his own, and he does. Sir Deadless tries to get it. He's on a breakaway. 2-2 two, two on O. Shoots it. He misses. Imagine I get to... Close opportunity. Get, it's going to be funny if I get suspended for it. Here comes Andy. Andy on the left side. Chips it up. Chips it off the boards for some reason. And he tries to F-shot it, and he misses once again. Now the puck is on the right side near the trap zone. Now near the right hash marks. And it is shot in once again, misses. Here comes Maximus Vigilante. Once again, trying to get a goal. The Heavy Flames defense is saying, we do not want you to get a goal. What else would they be saying? Was... Yeah, go score. Go right ahead. Score. <laughs> yeah. It... All right, here comes Crosby trying to shoot it, and he shoots in. That is a close one. Now here comes I think the problem Sai is the Flames right now. They have a good defense, as, you, if you're, if, if, as you've seen if you've been watching, but they don't have the offense to back it up. Yeah, they do. All right, Crosby made a great shot there, and his yeah. it was blocked. He tried for the rebound, but it is it was covered. What the hell? Your season? What the? Hell? 
Anyway. Uh, after the <clears throat> racist attack. Uh, pretty easy stop, stop there by IX correct, obviously. Easy low shot, easy F save. Well, easy to press F and then save it. But anyway, yeah, uh, obviously Dublin's still up 2 0. Ref just got uh, flung. Uh, and that delay of game warning is in, has now been issued to the Flames. All right, so taking the face off on into left, into the left of the Flames zone is Mathena and Sasayan. Or Dre, referee Floor J, Draco, dropping the puck. Sasayan tries for a shot towards the net, and that it misses. Now the puck. It moves to the right side, and it is cleared by the flames. Here comes Wayne Train, trying to dangle no around. Oh, no. no. oh, here he goes. He shoots, and it, he whiffs on it. No, it was blocked. Right, here comes Crosby. Crosby up the left side. And the puck is gone, ladies and gentlemen. Holy hell, Greensboro. What is Greensboro is a lovely stadium, ladies and gentlemen. First, we have the explosion... Then the puck just randomly gets disappeared. We love, we love BMHL, guys. Yes, we Holy do. Man. Holy oh hell. Gosh. At this point, we should just move to unknown. Anyway. So it seems we are having some technical difficulties. And someone just had to say China. Chinese boards. All right. Uh, anyway, guys, obviously, you know, North Carolina is a very sucky, I repeat, sucky state. Anyway, and the Bruins should have won that series. Anyway. Hey. Uh, who spawned warm-up pucks? Is someone spawned warm-up pucks, so it looks like we're going to be here for a while. Alright, uh, guys, I think we should just play a game with the warm up pucks. Yeah. If we could play a game with the warm up pucks, that would be just amazing. Yeah, we just gotta get rid of all of them except one with like B tools or something, and then. Yeah. But then we gotta okay. drag them with like F3X. Yeah, so. so that, that would, would be would annoying. Be like... Yeah, that would be annoying. It would. After every stoppage, you gotta... Oh, the puck is back. Well, the puck is back, ladies and gentlemen. That was a quick delay. Obviously, no one likes delays, because we love BMHL, guys. Anyway. Yes. This is a yet another case of Delay CB. I don't think that one's well, Bans' fault here. That's not Bans' fault. I don't think it, either it was... of these were Bans' fault here. Yeah. Yeah, they... they... Either... And head guys it was probably not some uh, admin abuser or with the um, explosion thing, or there was just a. I think the puck thing was should a glitch, just glitch bad yeah. luck. Yeah, I think head head guy is not playing. I think he's coaching the playing. It's interesting. Yeah, I, head guy is not playing today. Okay, so it is time for the face off. Horse guy seven market mayor underscore low taking the face off. Flames. What the huh? No, the Shamrocks win the faceoff, I believe. Here comes Horse Guy 07 trying to dangle around the flames. That is unsuccessful as the Wayne Train and Markinator try to take the puck. Horse Guy 07 gets it back for a few moments, loses it, and then gets it back. He's trying once again to work his way around the flames defense. And he ends up clearing it into the flame zone. CX3 trying to cover it, but that is fit, but that fails. Here comes Horse Guy 07 grabbing the puck in the near the center of the net in the Flames offensive zone. He is in the right trap right now. Here comes behind the center behind the net. Here he goes, tries for the wrap around, wrap around and it is blocked. Here comes Grand, Grand Slammer trying to work his way around Markinator yeah, underscore low. And Arcanator underscore lol does, does um all right so I guess 
Okay, here comes the Flames. This is their first real opportunity of the period. Here comes the Flames near the center of the ice. Could they work a way around the Shamrocks? And they do not. Maximus Vigilante tries to work. Oh, here comes Wayne Train trying to get the puck and clear into the Shamrock zone. And he is absolutely blown up. That could have been called an interference. Here comes comes in the flames just in the flames dumping into the shamrock zone here comes just too clean clears it into the flame zone it was heading towards the net but it is blocked by 21 golden gamer now here comes maximus vinade carrying it into the flame zone he tries to take it himself and shoot it in it goes wide right here comes tough benji but he loses it to maximus vigilante who tries to go up the center once again he's gonna try for that backhand but it is Defended very well by a 21 Golden Gamer, except of the fact that he is blocked by Golden. He is defended well by Golden Gamer. Here comes Just Too Clean. Just Too Clean on the point. Shoots it, and it's a save. Good save by ICX Re. Aren't going to run a score low. Whoa! Wait! And the puck just went to space. That is a home run. And I did forget to mention, the home run derby is today. Or was today. Let's get a replay of that there. Off the slap shot and just gets sent to Astro World, bro. Just like how the previous spot got sent to Astro World. Literally. Anyway. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Colin. I wonder how a home run derby would go at the Greensboro Coliseum. Just hit him pucks as far as possible. That would be interesting. Yeah. Had a full icer, you know. Double the points. Oh, oh What? This puck is... Very laggy, or just it, the velocity is very high. Yeah, just uh, a, I think we have a bouncy puck here. Quite a. All right, here comes puck. Crosby, uh, and he shoots, and did it, he misses. Here comes Thanks once again. Lord he misses two times, and it is almost tipped into his own net. I mean, honestly, this looks like an art. A Flames player just about tipped it into his own net. Here comes. The Shamrocks, and they shoot it, and it is saved by CX3, who gets a stoppage. I would like to mention, this game could make CX3 the top goalie of round two. Which, I hope that does not happen, and I hope that someone on, on the Thunder Bay Eagles, in specific... It's the top goalie of the round two. Which one is that? Z Matt or Colin Harrell? <laughs> ha. Either, I guess. Alright, here comes Horse Guy taking it up the right side. But he loses it to Wayne Train. Wayne Train has a two one on one. And oh, oh my gosh. He got bodied. Absolutely. Good play there by the defenseman Felix. With being able Wait. to why it. Wayne Chain coming at college. Oh my gosh! Holy hell. Just too um, clean. Has. Oh. Pff, almost. Uh, Vogg is. Vogg is dominating what? with the hits. Yes, Holy he hell. Is. All right, here comes Waternet. Finally, the, the Flames getting some offensive. Oh, uh, no, nope, never mind. It's getting canceled. The Flames finally producing something. Yes, they are. This is, has been a really good period for the Flames. Oh, Fun. Wayne Train shoots it, and it he misses. Here I mean, that was right on Justin. It should have been an easy save. Oh, horse horse guy. Guy. oh he almost hits the net. And it, it, he does pretty much. It is saved by CX3. Here comes Maximus Vigilante behind the net. I'm pretty sure Dublin is strong. Two people behind that, and the Flames end up clearing it with a slap shot out of nowhere. <laughs> Oh, here comes Wayne Train. Slap shot in it towards Josie, and who is in net now, and he misses. Here comes Andy. 
A lot of space Andy here. And he takes it up the center. Waternet, who is in between, is the only one in between. And uh, Andy, it's, it, it is blocked by Methania. Here comes Andy trying to get a wraparound. It, it, is, it is close, but he does not capitalize on that. Here comes Oops. Andy once again near behind the net. Is he going to try to center it, or is he going to try to take it for himself? After fighting his way through the Flames' defense. He is going. centering it, and it is close, but it is cleared, or almost cleared, but Sir Deadless gets the puck and oh. tries to shoot it, goes wide, and he once again passes to Sir Deadless. He tries to hit the net, and it is close to a goal. Oh, now, how is it looking down on the ice right now? Uh, sore. Uh, it's looking, honestly, the Flames bench has some happy smiles. <laughs> Finally getting some shots on that this period. Obviously, three of them sitting in front of the net. But then I'm just blocking the goal. And that might be a dog warn. And we have a arena malfunction. The Again? Chinese made plexiglass oh. has failed. The Chinese boards. Anyway. No comment, can I commentate for the third period? Oh, uh, yeah, you can. What happened? Well, oh. oh, you want to keep it calling? I don't mind. This, this game is, you know. We're going. If you want to keep going, it's fine. Yeah, so Shamrock's win the face off. Crosby takes the puck, tries to stick handle around the whole he Flames defense. He succeeds, but it is blocked by Methania, who is sitting in front of the net. So Sign picks up the puck, tr tries to center it, but it is denied by the Flames defense. Markinator underscore Lowell trying to clear it, and he gets it at least out of the zone, but it's picked up in the neutral zone by Just Too Clean. Here comes. Flay just too clean trying to get it, but it is unsuccessful. And Wayne Train tried to get the puck, but he is absolutely destroyed. Here comes Crosby at the left side of the net. And he is trying to stick in on his way around 21 Golden Gamer. And that is the end of the period. I'm bad. The current score 2 0. 35 shots in favor, 35 to 2 shots in favor of the Shamrocks. How has it been so far on the Sham, on both benches, really? Uh, Shamrock's pretty happy standing in early. Obviously, generating some chances, period, a lot less. But still being able to. <sighs> Keep the goals and keep their lead the exact same as last period. The Flames brought a lot of happy smiles, I'd say. A lot more chances, almost scoring chances. Obviously, both shoutouts for both goalies that played tonight for Dublin. Josie and <clears throat> Crosby. Obviously, Crosby wanted to play forward because he thinks he's good. No, okay. But um, pretty balanced, I'd say. Flames trying to do something. You know, maybe trying to snag a goal at least to uh, prove they did something. But the goal just doesn't say anything. Most of the says he played defense the entire game. Anyway, back to you, Colin. Yeah, so we are off. Shamrocks win the face off. Horse guy tries to take it, but he absolutely lags with that Italian internet. Here comes Horse Guy 07. Trying to get the puck back from Wayne Train, but he is denied by and Wayne Train trying to get it out, but it is finally taken back. Grand Slammer shoots it. That's a goal. Did that go in? That looked like a goal. No, it looked like it hit the post and went in. Just bounced out real quick. Uh, okay. Uh, interesting. What's going oh, on in the chat right now? Trying to. Oh, uh, there was, uh, there, it looked like a goal. I know, what's, what's not, the chat saying about it? Uh, Dolan saying it's in, Tom Pan saying it was in. 
Oh, okay, and the puck just... All right, here comes Horst Gendo 7 up to the center, and that is a close one. Almost hits the left glove of Ike Siaxley. Oh, and Horse Guy 7 tries to take it up the right center and shoot it, but he did not succeed. Here comes Wayne Train trying to clear it out, and he does. Sir Deadless trying to clear it out of his own zone, but he's unsuccessful, so he is, of course, given support, and... and Okay, hey, someone was absolutely. Wait, Whoa! it's a goal! Why the hell they're not calling it? It's a goal. James Bend. Max Vigilante. James Bend taking from his own zone up the ice, an easy dangle with the F are shot. Not, are they raising it off? Yeah. I was not expecting him to that. I was not expecting that to go in. Actually, no, here's here's my question. How did the F shot go low? Usually, F shot goes high. As you can see, I corrects was looking for a high shot. That's why he was standing tall and net. However, it went low and went right under his. Well, either it went down or side of his fat. Yeah, that. Um, I, I, I might. Well, I might talk to James Bando after that. See how he's feeling. Maybe after the game, we'll see. But back to you, Colin. Yeah, so that is really an interesting goal right there. Could mean the glitch in the system. Now, the Shamrocks had won the faceoff off the draw. Andy shoots, and it is on top. It just goes high. Now, here comes Wayne Train. He is a two-on-two. -two. Oh, Wayne Train tries to shoot. Oh! And it hits two crossbars there and goes out. Mark it. Is the puck gone? Home run. Switch arenas. Nope, the puck right. is not gone, but that I was... I think it, it looks like it just went on top of the Jumbotron. It did. No, it didn't. No, no, it, like... it went to... It went to Astro. <sighs> Got flung out of the arena. Oh, boy. Kind of a boring game, honestly. Yeah, this is... I'd say the game this morning was way what? more. Nicole, what time zone are you? Pacific? What? Wait, what time I'm zone are you? Eastern. Oh, same. Oh, here comes. Oh. oh, great chance by the Flames. That is absolutely demolished by Josie. They're Josie starting to generate play. chances now. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Honestly, that's, I think that's the first cover for Dublin. Entire night. Well, a pretty good save by Josie. Almost went in off the F shot. Yeah. But he's able to get a glove on it with the cover, obviously. Oh, uh, is that a penalty? I and that should be a penalty for Sir Dudless, but. Um, but the, the ref didn't see crap, so I think he'll, he'll let it slide. Oh, he just goes. Yeah, you see it. <sighs> it seems as if. Wait, 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 wait. The... I got a five-second timeout. Situation. Yeah, I have the real key in this arena. Is something obviously Bert built by Termite, but Ben has to fix everything. So. Yeah, but really, it seems in the Flames' case, a good, a very good goalie can put some fuel on the fire. Definitely. I need to look at the right. Thunder Bay. Oh, Crosby. But, and that is a confusing play, but somehow, in some way, stopped by CX3. But yeah, going yeah, back to what replay you were there. Let's see. Yeah, but Colin, going back to what you're saying about goalies at the fight, look at the Thunder Bay Eagles. Obviously, uh, got a little heated the last couple of games, but, you know. Yeah, it did get a bit heated the last couple games. The Thunder Bay Eagles, really, I'm talking to third person here, but... You mean first person, you were there. Oh, yeah, third, third first person, but really after everything started to fall apart, because we were holding on to the Sabertubes, but then after that one 
penalty. Oh! Uh, oh! Saisayan gets a wrap around after the face off. He wraps around the goalie and stuffs it in on the five hole. Goal! Oh, Shamrocks. It is. Nothing. Why is Shamrocks. It at, it's 631 left in the hockey, third I'm period. Sure keeps adding one for the Halifax Flames. Yeah. 40 to 5 shots in favor of the Samurai Shamrocks. I'm Colin Harold 2013. Wait, 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 how happened? Yeah, just say, like, your sword solo. Oh, yeah. I'm so wait, wait, wait. Well, what, the game ended? No. Oh, okay. Anyway, oh, uh, sorry. Oh, that was a screen DM. I'm sword solos, yep. Uh, on the bench for Dublin, checking out both benches. Wait, Horse Guy 07 takes it. Oh my gosh! Horse Guy scored? He did score! That was an amazing goal. He gets. He wins it off the face off. Heads in towards the right side and then cuts hard left to put it in with a backhand past CX3. That is a goal by Horse Guy. Five to nothing, Shamrocks. Anyway, well, uh, the guy on Italian Wi-Fi stored. Uh, but yeah, um, Jesus Christ, he's lagging his ass off. Anyway, um, yeah, go ahead, Colin. And so, how is it looking? Is it looking bleak for the Flames? Oh, oh, no, no, it's oh, oh, yeah. no. The Flames actually scored. It is not looking good. The Flames actually scored. They if actually only they're did. all probably just thinking, if only we got that earlier. Yeah. And Termite's probably happy because of the goal. Oh, oh, okay. Termite is probably happy because of the goal. I want to get a goal more. Anyway. Damn offsides. I don't know if that's true or not. Joe's. Yes. Yeah, suddenly... Oh, that's tough. Offensive zone break leads to that top corner shot. If we can get a replay there, actually, no, it doesn't even count as a goal. It was offsides. It was offsides. Yeah, it was offsides. What? Okay. Okay, so I guess that goal was reversed, but that will bring a lot of confidence back to the Flames. Cleared into the flame zone where CX3 traps it. Not there, boy. All right, so face off one by the Shamrocks. But That's a little update. By the Flames who clear into the Shamrock zone. Josie did seller tries to clear it out. He misses one time but hits the other time. Okay, by the way, we're on the uh, uh, we're on the ice. Actually, the goal was not offside. The goal was not offsides. And uh, we have a brawl. Oh, we have on a brawl the ice. on the ice. We yeah. have a brawl on the ice. Bench clearing brawl. I mean, uh, you know, the Shamrocks have a history of this. They do. A brawl against the Islanders. Now, we gotta... Now, usually... Oh, they are going on their bench now. This is a absolute... Doozy of a brawl. Okay, five minutes for both teams. Five minutes for both teams for roughing. Yeah, so that's just going to be the rest of the game. All right. So what happened okay. there? What started that? I honestly do not know. It must neither, have been... Actually, apparently on ice level, someone got, uh, somebody got hit, and then we just had a whole beach brawl on the ice. Five minutes for both teams. Hi, uh, two, uh, one person per team. 
Hydra, uh, Hydra Slash one two three will be uh, taking the penalty. Wait, no, never mind. No, he will Felix not. Will be taking it looks the like penalty. it will be Felix SVG taking the penalty for Shamrocks, and Mithenia, t- who has been doing amazing recently, yep, uh, taking, taking the penalty for the Flames. I'm just looking at something here. Oh, teams is terrible. Sorry. Um, Those right. penalties, I believe, should offset. By the way, Colin, did you vote on the poll or not? Uh, the, the poll? So, did they count yeah, the uh, Flames goal? I'm the, not sure. I'm conflicted the, the on that. The one that horse posted. Yeah, yeah, I, I did vote on that. Oh, okay. Let me yep, see. Where are you? Yep, okay, I see. Another right. roughing penalty here. Oh, another one. Oh, it's four on two. Uh, another. Where's the war? Penalty. Oh, this, this is not good. The... The Halifax Flames arguing the call heavily. And the referee threatening to eject the entirety of the Flames team if they do not stop. Uh, I'm, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go on mute for something. Right, so we are about on the face-off. Sasayan and Mar- versus Markinator Lowell on the face-off. Wins it and passes it to Just Clean, who makes an amazing. Uh, I I see a, CX re makes an amazing save off that slap shot. That is that can definitely bring up spirits. Oh, there is a brawl. Another bench clearing bar brawl. All right, now Sasayan and Markinator Lowell facing off each other in the faceoff, and Sasayan wins it. Tries to go shot for at the point, but it is blocked. It is cleared by the Flames. Here comes Maximus Vigilante, passing it to Sasayan. Sasayan taking it. He has a breakaway. Could pass to Crosby here. No, he takes it to seven. He scores. Goal for what? Sasayan. Six two zero Shamrocks. No, six to one Shamrocks. I had forgotten about that Flames goal earlier in the game. We're in the period. All right, so Waternet and Horse Guy trying to take the face off together, and Waternet had tried to cross check Horse Guy that did not fit to many. Horse Guy takes it up the right side, cuts to the left as he did earlier, scoring his goal, but his Italian internet prevents him from scoring. Wow. His Wayne Train taking the puck. Robert, remember, kids, if you're playing international, I care you use a VPN. Yes, you do. 
Hearts of the Flames go to the puck into the Shamrock Zone. Max Vigilante tries to clear it, and he almost does, but no, he decides to take it by himself. It is a one-on, two-on-one. Could pass it. No, he does not, but it does not prevent Maximus Vigilante from making a play. Could he score? No, he does not. It is covered by CX Re. All right, uh, Colin. All right, the puck is dropped. How is it looking on the ice? Have the Flames been just... Oh, appealing? I mean, they got that uh, one goal, so... That's something. Yeah, but but this no, point... I, honestly, I'd say the Flames dreams are just shattered. 6-1. Blowout. Kind of like the Almada against the Astros. Just 6-1. Yes. And honestly, it looks like, from my perspective, that all hope is lost for the Flames. Definitely. It's kind Matt of Dave. fell apart for them in the third period, I would say. Yeah, I'd say, on, honestly, it's kind of like the uh, Eagles and Shamrocks. No, not, not Eagles and Shamrocks, I'm sorry. The, the Eagles and Sabretooth game. After a penalty, they get fucked up. Oh, wait, I can't curse, can I? Oh, then. Oh, my bad. Crap. Oh. Yo, my bad. Oh, um, uh, don't worry. Whoa! Oh. And oh, the puck is going out again. Big home run. Head Savardo asking if. Uh, they want to. If the Flames want to call the game, they say no. All right, here comes Hydra to build, taking the face of the Mark and Air Lulls. See Shamrocks win it. Try to clear it into the Flame zone. They do, or they almost do, but it. Wayne Train and Mark Nader Lowell, with a joint effort, blocks that. It remains in a Shamrock zone. Wayne Train tries to take it, but no, Crosby get Crosby gets that. And Crosby looks like he was was almost on a breakaway. Oh, he is Crosby is now on a breakaway. Here comes Crosby, almost on a breakaway. It, he loses it, picks up, and it is picked up by Grand Slammer One, who tried to shoot it, and he missed. Here comes Hydra Build up the left side, trying to put it towards the center but that fails here comes Crosby taking once again putting it behind the trap in the left side Crosby tries to move it towards the center to Hydra build who fails to capitalize on that chance from Hydra build wrapping it around the net and fails to capitalize on that as 21 Golden Gamer Blocks him. Hydra build tries to get that. That are you paying attention shot, which is blocked by Wayne Train 35. Here yeah. comes Crosby. No stam about. Trying to clear into the flame zone so they can get a change. Hint, they do get a change. Here comes Andy. And just dangling around the flames. Here it goes. He's on a breakaway. Could he score? He... It is saved by CX Re. Finally, well, um, roughly about 20 seconds remaining in the period. Finally. Uh, game was longer than necessary. Do you think both teams have found just 
at no, my hope is lost. I, don't, I really don't think the flames have... Wait! Oh, okay. Oh, oh my gosh! Honestly, I don't think the flames have found it yet. Still a disappointment qualification so far. Honestly, uh, they're on the verge of round three. But apparently, the, uh, apparently the, uh, certain sources they need to so, so, uh, not really the best of the flag going out for the flames. Obviously, Dublin 2-0. If Dublin can capitalize on another win, their tier one hopes and dreams probably will be accomplished. As ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to tonight's broadcast. Oh, uh, I'm Sore Solos. I'm Colin Hammer 2013. And, and I'm Ray Jaggers 113. And yeah, we'll see you next time on FSN Network. We are signing off tonight. Have a nice day. Yep. We'll see you right. in the morning. No, not in the morning. <laughs> see you um later in the week. No games tomorrow. Good night. Wait, there's no games tomorrow? No, we're not streaming a game tomorrow. Oh, okay.